This is called Glasgow Smile. To every bully that I have come in contact with over the last 19 years, who have tried their hardest to emotionally cripple me so bad my bones need a wheelchair just to call themselves a skeleton. Why so serious? <laughs> Let's just talk. and Don't worry, I, I can't even blame you. It's my fault. For thinking that you were the coolest people in the entire world. For dedicating my childhood to trying to be like you. And I tried so hard, but see, I learned that trying is never cool. And that no matter what I did to you, I was just a joke. With no punchline, a clown trying to suck you off in the hopes of stimulating any kind of attention. But really, I just wanted us to be friends. Or at least for you to tell me exactly what it was I was doing wrong. And I would scream inside so loud my body would overheat. And my dreams of being cool melted into arsenic and salt water. I couldn't stomach the truth. And then the game changed. The day somebody decided to flood my mind with those seven epileptic words, shaking me at my center until I can no longer stand those seven epileptic words. What the fuck is wrong with you, huh? The fuck is wrong with you, man? What the fuck is wrong with you? Flooding me with these words like I'm New Orleans and I drown in them. And then for years, I auto-tuned my own thoughts because I couldn't stand the way they sounded. And every poem was a suicide note from a kid who had no fucking idea about what he was talking about. And there were people who spoke hatred behind my back as if I couldn't feel pain in my spine. But I have four quadriplegic years that say different. See, this was about the time I resembled a walking AFI music video with the black clothing, a half-hearted smile, and hair that covered half of who I am. I remember these two kids who went out of their way making a scene on just how hilarious it was that they couldn't tell whether I was a guy or a girl. They stopped, only to call me a faggot and then pranced off laughing, giggling. They giggled the way an infant chokes to death on bath water. And I had to just keep walking, like a mother, indifferent to her own child's suffering, but I felt it. And I would just tell myself, put that smile back on. Put that smile back on. Put that smile back on. Until I was so sick of repeating myself that I bore eight inch hooks into the flesh of my cheeks and I pulled just to show them they can never ever take my smile away from me. See, I earned my peace of mind. And you can call my life a charade, but I played your games and my prize was my smile. So here I stand before you, done trying to impress you, so I press you against the esophagus of my long term memory, ready to forget just how much your opinion has always meant to me. And then in some grotesque, nauseating twist of fate, I find it almost heartbreaking. To finally say goodbye to you. I'm so sorry we couldn't work this out sooner. But it's too late for any of us. Because now I'm busy trying to explain to these people why I just can't stop smiling. Woo!